What was that? <laughs> I am... I am speechless. <laughs> is interesting. And when I say interesting, a lot of times it's my nice way of saying, ooh, that's trash. But no, this time, like, this is, she's really intriguing. It's a new day in the workroom and it's a brand new year full of drag. I'm super excited to be back. We got a whole two weeks off which was well needed if i'm being honest i'm super excited for the cast of season 14 i can't wait to jump into it before we get into that video let's don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel i finally got to my 5,000 subscriber goal and that's partly thanks to bussy queen and the video he dropped late last year She's giving me a shout out i really appreciated that thank you <laughs> and this year let's get another 5,000. how about that uh, don't forget to go over to my Patreon as well. I have exclusive videos over there. Thank you to everyone who's been rocking with me for the past year on that service, that site, and supporting me. I really do appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are ready to be slay because it's hunting season, bitches. Hello world, my name is Alyssa Hunter and I'm from the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. Okay, Alyssa Hunter coming in in the hunting gear. First off, a friend of mine sent me, a, well, daddy, sent me a photo of Alyssa Hunter uh, in the confessional. And I was like, oh, cute. I was like, I don't know. But looking at this, um, yeah, Alyssa Hunter is freaking hot. Hot. Uh, the entrance look, I love the outfit. It's really great. Uh, the hair is good. The makeup's good. It's different. I don't think anyone's ever done anything like it before, which I like. I like when an entrance outfit is really conceptual and it tells me about the queen. The closest I've seen to somebody doing anything similar to this was probably April Carrion. Was it her who came in that little Boy Scout uniform? I don't remember, but this is really good. All right, let's get out there today and make a difference. My name is Bosco, and I'm here to show the world that I'm not just some skanky alternative girl from Seattle. Okay, I'm kind of shocked <laughs> at Bosco's confessional look. I saw Bosco in the Meet the Queens, and I was like, so clean, so polished. She walked in, entrance outfit, clean, polished. The face is beat. It's great. It's a simple, but it's really effective. I love the horn, the, you know. Uh, the confessional look took me aback. I did not know that's what Bosco looked like out of drag. Work. What a transformation. <laughs> Is you hungry? Cause bitch, I'm baked. Ow. America, don't adjust your TV. I'm this fat in person. <laughs> Corn, bread, the snack, jeté. Can I tell you how much I love this queen? I fell in love with her the first time I saw her uh, from Meet the Queens and I've been following her on social media for the past few weeks in anticipation for this season, and she's everything. She is everything, and I really hope she does not disappoint me on this season because I'm already rooting for you, girl. Uh, the hair, iconic, it's serving me black excellence. I love the golden rollers. I The face is beat. I love this pleather look. It's everything. It's everything. She's fucking cornbread. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Paris Hilton is here. My name is Willow Pill, and I'm an adorably twisted little doll. Willow Pill looks like something out of White Chicks. <laughs> this is so nostalgic for me, this entire look. It's ridiculous. I would never. Those shoes, your toes are out. But. Willow Pill is somehow pulling this off, and I'm somehow intrigued. Normally, I'd be like, no, 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 but this is fierce. <laughs> the fact that she walked in here, she walked in the workroom in freaking flip flops. She's an icon. I have one thing to say, baby. You already know every kiss begins with a K. I am Carrie Colby, and I'm here to be your new viral obsession. Carrie Colby is what I will be dreaming about for the next several months. Like, 
the skin is perfection. The hair is laid. That lace is so flat, it's baked into her freaking skin. I love the trans colors. She's just so beautiful. Is that all I'm gonna have to say when I see her each time because I feel tongue-tied a little bit? I'm kind of hot and flustered. Is this what like love at first sight feels like? Grab a fourth, ladies. Jambalaya is served. Bitch, that's June. Hello, everyone. I'm June Jambalaya. Imagine if Megan the Stallion and Phaedra Parks had a baby. Miss June Jambalaya. I don't care if this is Amelia Pucci or Gucci. No, I wanted more from your entrance look. I'm sorry. I just had a different level of expectations from you. A label whore, that's what you claim to be. Um, the face is right, like you're very pretty. You're right, Phaedra Parks mixed with Megan Thee Stallion, I get it, but it's, you're not padded. So it's like the, uh, She's so pretty, but she did not come ready with this look for me. Hello, RuPaul. Yes, we've been trying to reach you regarding your car's extended warranty. Oh, perfect. Well, then I just have one more question for you. Are you ready, Boots? Opening paragraph. <laughs> My name is Orion Story. Orion Story. That was a whole lot of extraness for your entrance to just fall flat because the joke did not land for me. I have seen a lot of this in the past where girls come in like a Jinx Monsoon, you know, oh, flowy, flowy, I just got out of the boudoir, blah, blah, blah. This is okay. It's literally okay. It's not bad. The gloves are a little, I, I don't know. I don't like the gloves though. The gloves with the nails, <laughs> it's a fine bath suit, bathing suit from the 60s or wherever. I don't know. This is just not make. I'm not excited. That's it. I'm not excited. Mm. Ooh, oh. She already the hair hers. Hold up. Are we having one of those things where it's like a two freaking premieres again? Because I was really hoping to see everybody. Open your heart and take a deep dive. Cause queens, you better pop that pussy if you want to survive. RuPaul literally said you better pop that pussy if you want to survive. I want that on a t-shirt. And before this premiere episode is over, one of you will sashay away. Uh. RuPaul's saying that before the end of this episode, someone's going home. I smell a stunt. I feel like Oh, someone's gonna sashay away, but then they're gonna come back at a later date because it's kind of unfair. It reminds me of season six when, was it Magnolia Crawford and some other person that we tend to forget, unfortunately, they both got sent home before the two groups got together. So it was like, damn, we didn't even get to meet everybody. So since then they haven't done that. And I'm kind of glad they don't do that anymore because it's kind of unfair to those girls. But bitch, it's her show, and I'm just here to watch it. What was the hardest part of doing this? Me. <laughs> Keep calm and carry Kobe. Let's go around the world, around the world with carry Kobe. <laughs> yes, work that camera. What the fuck kind of Wheel of Fortune shit is this? That mini challenge was all kinds of freaking crazy. I personally would not want anyone to strap me to a wheel and have me spun around because I would literally barf. No joke. But everyone was a good sport. They had fun. Cornbread was hella hilarious. Her center of gravity must be out of whack because she was spinning that whole thing all on her own. Carrie Colby won the mini challenge. And I'm like, doy, the, the girl is beautiful. Like, beautiful. In Kevin Kennedy Davenport's voice. We're putting on a show. You will be performing at the prestigious Charisma, nerve, and talent show. If you do this, then 
what did all stars <laughs> what does all stars girl do i can't wait to see what these girls talents are i feel like there's gonna be a singer and i feel like it's gonna be bad i'm hoping because that's gonna be entertaining for me to watch <laughs> so what's everyone doing for their talent show number oh competitive eden <laughs> I'm not even joking. You're not joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to see I'm going to try to eat 120 hot dogs in 60 Ooh, seconds. Ooh, that's a talent, bitch. A lot of the girls have interesting talent pieces. I don't think we've ever had anyone do a jump rope routine. So that's new. I love to see that. Rock and roll, like a guitar solo. That's going to be new. I just like to see the variety. Not everyone's going to come out to try and rap or lip sync to a song or do a dance number. I like to see the variety in the talent that my drag queens have. So that's gonna be fun. It was like pushing my stomach. And was like, there's a lot of demons and all this bullshit in here. It was like pushing me, bitch. And I'm just like, you trying it, but I am a very petty human being. So he was just pushing him and pushing and pushing. And bitch, I let out a demon and I fought it right on his ass. <laughs> Child. Cornbread and Carrie Colby talking in the mirror about the Southerners and their church business. I grew up in the church. I can say religion is not my tea. Don't care for it. Don't believe in it. Can't stand it. I'm a spiritual being, religion. Eh. Uh, but that story that Cornbread told about farting on the preacher, I lived. She is freaking iconic. And I love her. <laughs> Welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race. Your life is about to change forever, so just embrace it. Soak it up. Be a motherfucking star. Yeah. Uh, 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 I love that Lizzo came backstage to see the girls. I miss when they used to do this, like from season 9 and 10 and stuff like that, where the, the superstar would come in and talk with them before they went out on stage. I thought that was really cool, so this is really fun. And Lizzo has been on the show so many times at this point. Make her like a permanent judge. I just love seeing her on the show. I am gooped. RuPaul's Charles? Ru RuPaul's... First of all, RuPaul looks amazing. Like, stunning from head to toe. The body is right, the garment is tight, the hair is snatched, and the face is beat, okay? I was so shocked when she started performing because I was like, wait, what's going on? Why are there dancers here? Oh wait, RuPaul's doing a number? Oh, bitch. Season 14 is that girl. I w I loved this. RuPaul... There's a magic to watching RuPaul perform. Because it's like something you don't see often. And when you do, it's like... You know, she gives you her one-two step, but it's like she doesn't need to do more than that. She doesn't... She's 60-something years old. She's been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, and built the house. All you little munchkins running around complaining about all the damn time. She does not need to split, do a death drop, high kick, none of that. So this was everything. I lived for this. Yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah, Miss June Jambalaya was a serve. Um, her talent piece is everything I wanted Miss Bibi Zahara Benet to give for her All-Stars talent show. But I'm not knocking BB because BB served face and attitude, and that was everything in its own right. But Miss June Jambalaya was giving me spins upon top of spins upon top of spins, high kicks and splits. And the only thing that was a little messy was that damn headband. The headband was a. D she just don't want to see you win, June. That headband, burn it. Bosco did a burlesque number and it was cute. It was short though, but it was cute. And y'all might hate me for like comparing, but that's what I'm gonna do. 
get over it. Uh, when I think of a burlesque number in Drag Race, I think of Roxy Andrews, I think of Ben De La Creme, and they kind they did such a great job on two different side of the, sides of the spectrum of burlesque. Campion, really funny and like really sensual and sexy. And then whenever anyone else does a burlesque number, I'm like, what side of the spectrum do you fall? And was it as good as the one I've seen before? This was perfectly fine. I love the rose petals coming out. I thought that was different. I was like, oh, that's a really cute moment. But it was a so short and kind of lackluster. But she looked beautiful. Uh, okay, Alyssa. What kind of stunts are you pulling? Because I thought you were really going to be out here playing, doing a whole Prince Purple Rain moment. But that's not what happened. Anyways, apart from that stunt, I did enjoy her look. I thought the bondage was done. But what made it a little bit more interesting for me was the suit underneath, you know, mimicking like tattoos all over her body. I was like, oh, that's really neat. Like that, uh, that coat, because since I can't really judge your talent based off of playing the guitar, because you didn't play it, I'm gonna talk about your outfit. That coat was, was cheap looking, <laughs> but it was all cute. <laughs> Put together, everything was cute. And the performance was energetic and I can tell you're sitting in lip sync, or I just wish you were actually playing the guitar. Want none unless you got buns on. Let's go. Ah, Miss Colby with the jump rope routine. I thought it was super cute. The little performance coming out, the jump rope routine, like it was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It reminded me of watching those you know, going to a chair leading competition and I was like felt feeling so nostalgic. And she's so freaking pretty. She is really pretty and talented. That ass smack, I'd like to be the hand. The Stroker 5000. Fun fact, in South America they call this the horn dog corn dog. <laughs> now you're gonna get real tight and you're gonna stroke back. Well, Orion's story, uh, comedy routine. It was interesting. I will not say it was my favorite routine that I've seen so far. <laughs> I, <clears throat> What do I think of it? I'm thinking of a Whitney Houston interview and she's like, what do you think? When they asked her, what do they think of Mary Carey? She's like, what do I think of her? I don't think of her. And it's giving me that vibe. I just, it was just like, it was there. It wasn't great. The outfit and everything was like on point for the trailer motif she was going for. But then the writing and the delivery was just really dry. And even though there were funny moments, it just was dry. Cornbread is the mother taking snack. Uh, then I drop like a meal. Top bitch with a real pussy feel. See the 14, you know the deal I give her. Beat face, big thick to the slim waist. Is your hunger ding ding? Um. Yes, cornbread the snack jete. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna go download that right now. I hope it's on your, I'm gonna go to your Instagram. I'm gonna check your bio. I hope the song is there because I'm about to listen to it and stream it like the entire freaking weekend. The song is fire. The performance was everything. And now that I've seen you perform like this, I can't, I hope you don't land in the bottom. But then again, I'd like to see you lip sync just because you're such a good performer and I just want to see you perform for free. <laughs> this was really good, Cornbread. Like, I, I stand you even more. Oh my God. Is this going to be a whole season of me being biased to people? I don't think so. But she was good, like, she was good. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I am, I am speechless. Willow Pill is interesting. 
and when I say interesting, a lot of times it's my nice way of saying, ooh, that's trash. But no, this time, like, this is, she's really intriguing. I didn't know where she was going with this little house on the prairie nightgown and this bathtub. But then by the end of it, I was like, I want to watch that. Is that a short film? I want to watch it. Even if it's a silent film, I would watch that. Willow is a conceptual queen. She's a smart queen. And I'm really excited to see what she does next. Tonight on the runway, category is Signature Show-Stopping Drag. Okay, Miss Signature Drag, June Jambalaya. I love this color on her. I feel like it's just so mocha, so good. And the appliques are really nice. The stones are good. You know what I like about this cat suit? I like that it's cut as a capri because that makes it a little bit more high fashion because a lot of times the cat suits go all the way down to the ankle or they make it so that it goes into the shoe. And it's like, it's very drag to do it that way. But to make it a capri, it tells me that this girl has an eye for fashion and I'm into it. I will say the wig is heavy and I can't see a root. But she looks good. She looks good. And I live for a train. And this train is everything. So I can tell Bosco's signature is horns, uh, much like her eyebrows. I, I like this look. I think this is very sleek. It's simple. But it tells me a story of who she is as a queen. And I get it. I can see who this girl is. And I relate to this. Well, maybe not relate to her. But I know who this girl is. I like the look. She looks snatched. The hair is beautiful. The face is right. Bosco is just so intriguing to me. Like, in and out of drag. It's just such a freaking dynamic. Like, mm. Alyssa got money. Alyssa got money. Because this is a lot of feathers and a lot of stones. And the fringe is serving. The, the hat out of feathers... This is a moment. This is a real moment. I'm living for everything. Even that ugly ass My Fair Lady umbrella, which I hated those umbrellas from the 20s and I hate them now. But I get it. It's a period piece with, with a little with a lot more glamour and it's so good. When I tell you that I'm obsessed with fur coats, this is a coat. You see. I feel like these girls been watching my channel and they just know what I like and they said if I'm going on season 14, I'm gonna do what Michael likes. That's just in my head. Obviously, that's not a thing. <laughs> but I keep saying, give me a train, give me drama. And they keep giving me what I want. These queens are not in a round. This coat is everything. I love that there's lions on either side of the shoulders because representing for Leos, I'm not a Leo, but good for them. And then it comes, it opens up to this beautiful naked dress with K's all over it and the thigh highs and the hair is pink going into the ombre. It's all so good. It's just so good. I have nothing else to say, but it, it's good. And the coat is lined pink lining. Get into it. Oh, Orion's story. I actually, you know what, Orion's story? I like this outfit. I love, it shows me who you are as a campy queen. It's very 60s. It's giving three boobs, which is like out there. I feel like this is going to be one of those queens that give you a period piece mixed with like some alien stuff. And I love that. I love when you mix and match a bunch of themes and make it into something special. And this is special. It's a really special look. I will say that. It's not the most high fashion or whatever, but it's a beautiful drag look and it has a concept. It tells me that you're smart. Cornbread Jete. Shantae used to, like, this is beautiful. I know it's just, just a leotard, but it's stoned all the way through. There's a hip moment, there's a glove, there's a headpiece that's made, even though it's literally just a fabric covering her head, but it's everything. I personally, while I do love the headpiece, I wish there was a short wig underneath so I could see some hair poking through. That would have been nice, even though bald drag queens are totally fine. I, it's a thing and it's fine. 
it's just that with this look and the fabric on her head going into the garment, it really covers her neck a lot. And it doesn't help that she, it doesn't help that she's walking around like this. So where's your neck? You're literally eliminating your neck the entire time, cornbread. But this is an amazing look. You look sexy. I expected better from Willow Pill. I don't know why, because it's not like I have a lot of prior looks to pull from and be like, I have this expectation of you. I only have like the promo shoot uh, to look at. Um, I like the concept of the green underneath and the blue and the hair matching all of that. It's really a cool concept. I feel like the execution is where it's lost on me. The hip pads don't feel like they're done well. And then the tights don't fit her legs perfectly it's a little bit baggy in some areas and I just feel like it's a fit fitting issue if it was probably fit better I would have liked it more but the concept's okay I guess it's still not as exciting as I would have wanted it to be cornbread I've got one thing to say winner winner chicken necklace <laughs> Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's oh, challenge. God, fuck well, Cornbread won the freaking challenge, as she should. <laughs> ah, I love when good things happen to people who de deserve it. You know what I mean? Now, on to those who are like shitting their pants right now. Unfortunately, June Jumbala is in the bottom with Miss Orion. Story. And. It was tough because a lot of the girls did really well and some of them were like really good in the talent but like just messed up a little bit in the outfits. It was hard to like gauge who was going to be in the bottom too. It was close. But I guess it's, I don't know if it's fair. I don't know, but I'm not a judge. Well, that lip sync was very interesting. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. The lip sync was really good. I love this Lizzo song. Uh, it's not one of the songs I listen to all the time, but I was like, oh, I'm really into this song. The entire lip sync, I was like, I, I love this song. Um, June Jambalaya slayed it hands down. There's no disputing that. Orion's story, it was like a really sedated lip sync for a Lizzo song. The energy was just like a half step or maybe a whole full step or two behind what it needed to be the entire time. Even when you were trying to do a wig reveal, I was like, how the hell you make a wig reveal uninteresting? It just, there was just no buildup, no nothing, no excitement to it. And then the wig underneath was not giving. And I don't want to be a reading, uh, this is not a reading session. But yeah, there were moments where I just, I was like, Come on, girl, give it. And I just felt like you didn't give it. But June Jambalaya, she was fighting for it and she did everything that I needed her to do for a, type, a Lizzo type song. She won for me, hands down. June Jambalaya, Shantae, you stay. Well, as I said, June Jambalaya won, obviously. Um, poor Orion. I mean, even when she did that little exit line, boots, it's time to walk in, no one laughed. I was like, damn. Did y'all not get the memo? When people are sad and leaving and they say something stupid or unfunny, you still laugh to make them not feel worse. Like, just clap and, and, la and <laughs> build them up. <laughs> well, Boots, it's time to start walking. <laughs> well, there we have it. This first episode was a really good one, I must say. I thought they were going to do the same thing where the girls had to do a girl group challenge because Lizzo was going to be there, but talent shows work for me too. It was fun. I can't wait for next week to meet the other girls. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please. <laughs> and go over to my Patreon for more exclusive content like me reacting to the lip sync like watching it and reacting and talking shit. All of that on my Patreon. Love you, bye. Hey beautiful humans, you've made it this far in this video. Why not subscribe to my Patreon? You can sign up for exclusive content I don't post on YouTube or support me making content for this channel. Speaking of, why don't you watch another video?